So for this part of the video, really no matter what you change, you're still going to get similar frame rates if you're power limit throttling. So that's why you want to use an application like Throttle Stop to change some of those settings to make sure that doesn't happen. And you are seeing some better frame rates, but uh, really it will begin to improve once you fix the power limit throttling, since that CPU is throttling below the base clock. <coughs> So you want to go into your system configuration by typing in msconfig into the window search. You'll change, you'll see more options here, but I changed mine to 12, down from 16. That's the number of threads or um, effective processors that you have. And then moving on from there, in throttle stop, you want to turn off turbo and undervolt if necessary. Now, after you set your msconfig, you'll have to restart. So just make sure to, to do that before anything takes effect. And you'll notice in these next few clips that those issues are fixed and the performance is up to base clock. So this first part is really just to show the scaling issues that Bootcamp has when you're at non-native resolutions in full screen. This next part is emphasizing changing certain settings to make your performance better. Dynamic resolution scaling was off and it really affected the performance. There he is, Chief. An error has been detected on line 10A. All our clamps are jammed. I need two workers to climb up and secure the cables. That's not an easy maneuver. The gal will double your pay for this shift. What the hell? This next part is running in windowed mode. That's one way to solve the scaling issues, but you do get a drop in performance. So that is something to know in general for games. And finally, Dynamic resolution scaling is on. It's running at native resolution when it can and dropping down to preserve the frame rate. So this is where the performance really starts to improve. Right now it's 30 to 40, but it does go all the way up to 60 in just a moment. Sounds like scrap rats. Creepy. Just passing through, guys. No need to come out and say hi this time. to the front, stop the train. All right, so this is a motion test at 144 hertz.
And so you can see it's hovering around 30, mid 30s, uh, when there's a lot going on, like trees in the background, uh, lighting effects, shadows, etc. We need the essentials food, medicine, whiskey. It's a strange one, all right. Maybe they're hiding up here, too. There's a big price on Colm O'Driscoll's head. Arthur, go see if there's anything in that barn. Micah, you search the cabin, see what we missed. Sure. So as you can see, it's doing pretty well on this front. Getting about 547 megabits per second down and 41.7 megabits per second up. So this is also doing pretty decently. The only So this really just shows how good the connection is. I think the quality of the chip that Apple uses, uh, even though it's only AC, works really well and performs better than a lot of Wi-Fi 6 laptops, comparatively. So overall, I'm quite pleased with the graphical quality of this game, um, and actually it's pretty fun. I've never really played World of Warcraft before, but I do enjoy it, even though I'm still like very noobish.
Just from my initial gaming review, I was sort of seeing some thermal throttling. You are going to see some power limit throttling, but um, just from undervolting it, right now I have it set to negative 45 millivolts. Um, I am having a stable system. I don't want to push it too far, so I'll, I'll sort of leave it there. So overall, I would recommend the application throttle stop. It is sort of an advanced application, so you have to do a little bit of research. Um, there is some scaling issues in Windows that are a little hard to fix, but um, you can sort of play with that as well, at least until we get updated drivers from AMD or from Apple. But thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Go ahead and drop a like, leave a comment down below, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.